Well, we are learning more about what happened last month when the Secretary of State's voter registration page went down for more than three hours on National Voter Registration Day. In our David Hammer investigation, public emails show how the scheduled maintenance of the election's website fell through the cracks and led to fears of voter suppression. And today is National Voter Registration Day. LSU worked with the Louisiana Secretary of State's office to put out this video encouraging voters to register on September 22nd, National Voter Registration Day. So it was more than a little embarrassing when the Secretary of State's voter registration site went down that evening for scheduled maintenance. Democrats pounced on Republican Secretary of State Kyle Ardwan. Mayor LaToya Cantrell called it beyond reprehensible. Representative Royce Duplessis tweeted, this is an absolute disgrace. Ardwan apologized to lawmakers saying the maintenance was necessary for cybersecurity and to prepare for heavy traffic on the website, but took responsibility for scheduling it on National Voter Registration Day. Baton Rouge Representative Ted James replied, I'm not buying this BS. How soon? in advance of National Voter Registration Day was, was the maintenance scheduled. How often do you do maintenance? So we still haven't received that information. But this week, through a public records request, WWL-TV obtained the Secretary of State's public emails, which suggest it truly was a mistake. The computer system maintenance was originally scheduled for September 8th, but Commissioner of Elections Sherry Hadsky said her staff would be programming the November election that day. So on August 14th, an IT staffer picked September 22nd instead. Hadsky may have been a bit distracted. August 15th was a municipal election day. She went on to send several emails touting September 22nd as National Voter Registration Day without connecting the fact that her system would be shut down for hours for maintenance that very day. That makes me feel a little bit better, uh, you know, but it, it's still a, a huge lapse in, in judgment. Republicans pushed Ardwan this summer not to make voting easier during the COVID pandemic. James says that politicized the nonpartisan elections office. Um, I trusted that, that office. I trusted the process. Um, and it just seems to me that um, Louisiana has caught this, this wave of you know, voter suppression, voter intimidation, um, and just trying to confuse the process. And In a statement, the Secretary of State's office says it is laser focused on delivering a fair, safe, and accurate election. Pollster and political analyst Ron Fauché says suspicion about that process is at an all-time high, putting even more pressure on Ardwen and his staff. Election officials need to be very, very careful. What they do uh, is not only honest, but appears honest, is honest and is transparently honest. Even about honest mistakes. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Well, the day after National Voter Registration Day, the first Assistant Secretary of State issued a new policy. It sets up a new process for website maintenance and requires it to be done overnight when the site is not used as much.